So um, I did get a, a uh, package from Martha, sort of the final report. And it's got, it's just essentially the same thing that I sent to you folks. Uh, the CPA application is the same. I think a few minor uh, 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 differences, but she gave us a lot more stuff, uh, the backup stuff for specifications and things of that. So it's about 59 pages. So, so that's how it would go out to bid? That, well, not, no, not quite bid, but right. the next thing to it. Okay. It has a lot of details in it. Um, and um, I mean, we still have to tweak, we will still have to tweak uh, the, if, assuming we get funded, we have to tweak the bid documents because we have to, we, there's still a number of things that we have to decide finally on, you know, the, the stone pillars, where and how many, uh, where would, if we we're going to stockpile any of the stone, where's that going to be? Um, is, um, yeah, we have to make it clear that there's not to be any work done, any work done on the uh, neighbor neighbor's property, uh, that kind of thing. So th there's some details that we still have to fine tune. And she had said that they would be paid some more to to actually do up the final bid document. Is that and that is that included? Well, we'd have to we'd have to hire them for that. If we get funded, we'll have some money to do that. Okay. Um, but um, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, there was a question about whether we needed an OPM, but no, we do not. This is too much too small of a project. Projects have to be, I just learned from David Nixon that the threshold is a million and a half dollars project. Then you need to have an OPM, like a library. Right. There's not. We may want to have a construction supervisor or some, you know, somebody to keep an eye on things for sure, but that, you know, it's a different um, animal. It sure is. So anyway, that package that I got from her just this afternoon um, um, is what I'll send to um, Amy Feiden uh, for the CPA application, and I'll copy everybody. Great. Everybody, you and the and Judy Stone and the DPW and David Nixon. So you'll see the the full report, which is as I said, it's about 59 pages. Very nicely done. Nice. Nice. And it's, um, I, you know, like you say, we need to then decide on exactly the stone pillars or what we do for the entrances and exactly. You know, yeah, that's still a bit up in the air. Yeah. Um, but we put it the application mentions that we could do one or the other. And uh, if I don't think it, um, it'll be a problem if we fine tune it a, a bit, uh, you know, before it actually happens. Um, right. No, I think it'll be very nice, and and I like I like it. I like it all granite, consistent. You know, yeah. I think that that makes a lot of sense. Well, of course, now uh, with the the northern section that's on Becky's property, that that's not going anywhere. Uh, it's a very small section, and it's not yeah. the w, it's not WPA, but that's that's going to remain. So that, in my mind, okay, if that's there, and you know, ninety nine percent of it is going to be the granite posts. But if that little section is up there, then it probably makes sense to have the two pillars at the main entrance to kind of balance mm -hmm. that off. As or would you add one to the southern end? Uh, I know Rick, Rick mentioned that, but uh, maybe we could think about it. I don't think it would add a heck of a lot, and it's difficult to work down that end right. as well. Right. Um, Here she is. Oh, she Hi, is, Diane. Is, hello, Hi. Diane. Hi there. Hi. Okay. We can get, let's get started. It's 6.05. Hadley Media is recording, Diane. Okay, thank you. You have to be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, to be real careful. <laughs> okay, so we're uh, we're a we're calling it to order six oh five, and we have two items, actually three. If if everybody got the minutes of the last three meetings, yes. mm -hmm. we could those if people are ready to do so. We don't have to, but let's uh, do it. Uh, Diana, you you feel comfortable? I saw them. Okay. I saw them. Okay, so those are for the last three meetings. We had one on the seven, uh, July fifteenth, August fifth, and uh, August twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, would somebody like to make a motion to approve those? So moved. I'll second it. Any discussion? All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Nice minutes, Alan. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> they were kind of very similar because we just did the same thing at all meetings. We just it's basically right. <laughs> versions of the presentation, mm -hmm. which is good. 
Uh, okay, so the second order of business is the submittal of the CPA application for the Hockenheim Fence Replacement Project, which you saw the, um, a version of that I sent around. Mm -hmm. And I, as I was telling um, Mary, uh, Diane, that I just this afternoon, just about an hour ago, I got a, a complete package, a little final report from Martha, which contains that application and more stuff, okay, more back. It's, it's 59 pages, okay? Mm. So I'm going to uh, uh, submit that to the, um, as, as well as the CPA application to mm -hmm. the CPA committee, so they'll have the full story. And also, I will copy you and also the town people, town officials that need to see this, okay? So, so you got no, so you got no feedback. I mean, we were waiting to see if there would be feedback from anybody anywhere. And oh yeah, no, no, we we did get a lot. We did get we feedback. Heard okay. We heard from no, we heard from seventeen different people in Hockenheim. Huh. Oh yeah, I was just going to say, what about the Hockenheim folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and we they got were quite all, a bit. they were all favorable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, there was yeah a, a concern raised. Would people try to jump over the the chain and maybe get hurt or? You know, a, a little bit concern of would the would the granite post just snap and would they really mm. protect the stones? But I think everything um, we put there has a potential of, you know, mm -hmm. if you hit it just right. But um, but by and large, everybody said that they they liked it. They thought it would look nice and was in keeping with the style of the cemetery. Yeah, you, every, every, everybody who had an opinion said we like it, and uh, nobody said. Mm -hmm please don't take the wall away. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody said that. Except the, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, we, it was only part of the wall. And, and of course, we will be maintaining, you know, pieces of it, of uh, the pillars mm -hmm. or a pillar. And of course, the nor that northernmost part that's actually on Becky Russell's property, that's going to stay. She wants that remained. Yeah. Oh, really? It's actually yeah. on her property. It's actually on her property, so Which, we have nothing. To... How far over, I mean, how much of the wall is it? You know, when we, they had it, when when her dad died, I think they had it, you know, exactly put out um, where the boundary was. And I noticed it was on like two inches this side of that wall. So, or, you know, ah. it's like right there. Yeah, it, um, Diane, it's the, piece, it's the piece that actually runs east-west. Uh, it's oh, about eight feet yeah. long. Kind of the edge of, or, or yeah, something. around the corner. So okay. it goes. It, it it makes it goes around the corner. So it's not actually part of the 360 feet wall that ah. we're replacing. Okay, okay. Um, and I think it's in fairly good shape. In any case, it's not ours to mess around with. So we're going to mm. leave. It. Um, the the other thing, uh, the the other main comment that was pretty universal was people want to want to opportunity to take some of the stone mm. references and we did that with the hooker school bricks yeah was they charged for that i don't think we'll charge for these a fundraiser things. it's a fundraiser <laughs> I, I think we'll let people just have them at least well we, we can talk about it but my inclination is okay if they want to take them fine the 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 um the, con the consideration that we'll have there though is we'll need to um have us have a stockpile of it somewhere well, obviously, you can't just dump them on the cemetery. There's no room. Uh, so I, 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 I guess I did. I ask you, Mary, if you could talk talk to some people and see if there's a spot we could put some of the without creating a dump. You did, and I don't have an answer to that. Yeah. Well, we've got we've got plenty of time for that. And uh, actually, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm trying to think of other concerns. There was uh, oh. Um, People don't want the fill. If there's any fill removed from the site, you know, not not stone, but dirt. That's good Hadley dirt. They don't want it to be. <laughs> want to stay in Hockenheim. Some people. Yeah, want it to stays stay. in Hockenheim. So the other the other thought one person had, which I think is kind of neat, is there is a faucet there which people use to fill mm -hmm. containers mm -hmm. to water plants that they might put out or flowers. And um, someone suggested taking some of the, instead of having like a separate just cairn or something for, to commemorate the old stone, build something around the, the faucet. Yeah, we, we have a shelf on top or maybe I, even a little I, bench. I, I actually talked, I, did, I actually talked to Gary Berg about that as well as the whole wall thing. And again, his, his feeling is we should have two, two pillars at the main entrance to mark that entrance. And he, feels like that just if we just had one thing it would kind of stick out like a sore thumb mm -hmm. and on the water thing i mentioned to him that we were thinking about maybe doing something there and he was not 
he was pretty skeptical about that. And he said he, it would be better if you had that water service um, attached to one of the granite posts on the inside. Um, you don't want to surround it with too much stone if you have to work on it or something like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's not impossible. We could build a stone thing, but again, it would sort of stick out. Um, but we could, it's, it's that and the, um, and how the um, stone pillars are located and how many and where and all that stuff, that stuff we can fine tune and we can keep thinking about. We don't have to decide that right away. Um, I think we have enough um, uh, latitude uh, as we go on to uh, fine tune those kinds of things before or, or during the, um, assuming we get funded for this, of course, uh, when we prepare the bid and specification for the, for the proposal or for the project. One thing I was glad to see included was to improve the parking area with some stone underneath and then the turf and still grass. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah. And pe people like that, but they didn't want it. They'd want to make sure it wasn't going to be paved right. or something. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, what, what uh, Martha was proposing is basically when you look at when it's all said and done, you're looking at the grass. And so it's, but it's nice to see that but that's it's, included. Yeah, exactly. That was included. Um, that increased the, the project cost a little bit, but um, I think, and and I and what I if we again if we get this if we get this funded, um, and we prepare bid documents and go out to bid, we probably should prepare the bids in a way that the um, the paved um, reinforced turf project would be a separate item or an alternate as they call it, because if the bids come up really high, we might, we might have to knock it out. Um, I, I think we'll be okay, but you never know. It's always mm -hmm. good to have a little bit of um, um, uh, room to, to maneuver. So, but again, those things, those decisions we can make down the road. Uh, let's see if we get the funding approval from this, this community preservation committee and, and town meeting. Right. Uh, because we, we, you know, the total projects that we're asking for is, about $150,000 for all three of them. So that's a pretty good chunk. And- uh, But it really takes care of the cemeteries for a while, doesn't it? it? Exactly, that's gonna be one of my points is we're, we're, this is a three year program that we're, we're in the, this is the last year mm -hmm. and the, the town's been kind enough to, um, and good enough to fund the first couple of years. And if we get this done, we, we should be done with major stuff for a little bit. I mean, there's always stuff to do uh, but I don't think we'll be on the scale of, uh, of these projects um, in any case. So let's, um, let's, uh, uh, so could someone make a motion to, to um, submit the Hockenheim Cemetery Fence Replacement Project to the <laughs> Community Preservation Act Committee? Sure, I'll, I'll make that motion. Okay, and I'll, I'll second, second it. Good. Second. Okay, any, any discussion on, on that? Any questions? Mm -hmm. That we have. Right. No, we've, <laughs> we've been doing good. We've been doing okay, good. Quest, questioning it along the way. So now we're here. <laughs> okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. There's one other thing I think we should vote on, and that is it's related. <coughs> excuse me. It's related to that. In the CPA applications, and, and these are all the applications that we've done. Um, we um, we offer up a match from cemetery trust funds of a few thousand dollars um, if necessary. And uh, the, um, the North Hadley and the Russellville had, a f I think one was 3,000 and one was mm -hmm. five. And this one, it has five, I think it's five. The total project, uh, I'm sorry, it was three, it's three, three, I'm sorry. Yeah, the total project is estimated as 68 and, and we're asking only for 65. So we would, if we have to, we will offer up the three. And those will be from our cemetery trust funds. So I'd like to uh, make a motion that uh, we authorize expenditure of those of those trust funds um, as the CPA matches up to the amounts uh, specified in the three applications. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm making that motion. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion or questions about that? No. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <laughs> Right. Alan, I do. I have a general question about the cemetery fund, um, how it's funded and, and what it's oh, used sure. for. Well, this, these have been around for quite a long time. They originally were from 
uh, the sale uh, the sale of uh, perpetual right. Uh, care. Right. In each cemetery, uh, the funds that that we receive from the sale of lots, basically, and perpetual yeah. care, which go hand in hand, are uh, put into separate trust funds, one for each cemetery. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they are invested, and the the uh, interest basically is put into an, an expendable account that we can spend. Okay? okay. And over the years, it's accumulated not a tremendous amount, and we're very careful about not just spending it on, on everything. We don't obviously we don't need to spend it on the true perpetual care, which is the main is, is the <laughs> lawn mowing. Right. Know, right. The, the town decided to put that in the DPW budget. So that's not, doesn't come out of the trust funds. The trust funds are for other, other items like fixing up a fence or, you know, so, or doing CPA matches and, and things of that sort. So uh, the, the other thing is um, the, the sale of lots has a separate trust fund. And then there are three named funds from people who years ago gave the town some money. Uh, I think one's the Howe fund, one's the, Boyd Fund, and I can't think of the other one right now. There's not much in there, a few thousand dollars at most. And it's, and it's always been, we've never been able to figure out exactly what the stipulations were. I, I do know, two of them I do know, uh, because we found the paperwork, and it's just basically general maintenance. Okay, so we can use it pretty much for anything okay. in, that, in the particular cemetery. The other one, uh, I'm trying to track down, that actually is the one that has the most money in it. And nobody's ever heard of the person who, Isabel Boyd. Anybody know Isabel Boyd? Isabel Boyd? She did have a last will, which I would, I, I would go get if the probate courts were open, which I can't do, obviously, now. Because, and the record, it goes back to about 1901, I think. So can't, can't get my hands on that. But at some point, I have, her, I have the... Um, the uh, reference number for that. So I, I'm going to look at that, look up that at some mm -hmm. point. We'll find out. But in any case, those funds are um, uh, for cemetery purposes as, uh, you know, as we determine. Oh. And, and the total, the total is about, I think the total amount of expendable money in there is around $50,000 for mm -hmm. all the cemetery, all the cemeteries. Now, is that, is there a, I mean, that's on interest only? I mean, that yep. my quoting right now is from interest? That's what, that's my understanding. It's a little bit okay. hard to, to, to read the, uh, you know, the accounts in town mm -hmm. hall and to get an accurate reading of it sometimes. I especially if you don't, have, a, you don't have an accountant. Yeah, yeah, we need, we need, so when we get a new accountant, we'll be able to get a report on a monthly, we used to get them on a monthly basis. Um, okay. Well, I haven't seen one for ages. Um, I remember but, seeing somewhere in the town report it said like a hundred thousand or something for the cemetery fund, but that may that, be that that could everything. be the principal. That could be the principal. I was just going to say the principal is yeah. yeah yeah yeah. I think if you look at some of the old town reports, you might see some of that information. I have a separate old printout from two thousand and eight, which is pretty good because um, it shows all the different categories. The the okay. principal, the interest, everything. Oh, that's uh, nice. So we, we can, can get Linda oh. usually, I think it's Linda or the accountant, uh, the town treasurer or the accountant can usually generate those reports for us. But in any case, so does that answer your question? No, thank you. That's, so it doesn't have to be the Hockenham Fund paying for this show. No, no, no. We, general interest. No, no. We, well, we can if we want it. We can take it out of whichever fund we want. And the sale of lots is a general fund anyway, and that has the most money, okay. money in it. Um, now it's and, nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we've, we've talk, I've talked to Linda Sanderson a couple of times about just making, just lumping it all into one big cemetery fund because it's kind of a little bit silly when you're doing something that's for all the cemeteries and trying to take 500 out of this and 500 out of that. You okay. know, it's a little... Well, the other side of the coin of that, Alan, is that, you know, we want to be sure we favor, we, we're equally favorable. And if there's one cemetery that's, you know, enormously in need of money, we have to still be judicious about spreading it out for all the cemeteries. So yeah. maybe which that's is what, what which is exactly that. what, which is exactly what we've been doing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, all the cemeteries are getting their attention. Yeah. And, and actually, if you look back into the, if you look back into the um, records back 10, 15 years ago when they did the real big um, 
they spent a hundred thousand dollars trying to get the cemeteries in shape um and a lot of it was tree work um <laughs> and the, but um, and fencing everything uh, and that, else. But yeah. not hocking them for the fencing and not, not hocking them for many trees. So we're kind of yeah. maybe. Well, they, they did have to remove four or five trees at hocking them. Yeah. But that wasn't, the other cemeteries had bigger problems. Hadley was, yeah. North Hadley was a mess and uh, mm. Old Hadley uh, needed yeah. new fencing. And, and, and of course, Russellville and Plainville got new fencing too. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. We've done the C CPA submittals. We should be all set with that. I'll send those along to Amy Fiden, who's the chairman of the CPA committee, uh, as soon as we finish this meeting. Uh, the minutes are approved, and uh, we're okay to use the funds for matching if we need to. Uh, anything, any other business anybody would like to bring I up? I just want to mention in the West Springfield paper, there was a um, there's a 26 year old who's going around to all their cemeteries and cleaning all the stones, and he's done. Oh hundreds of them and um, but he had somebody come out from Hartford and do a, a cleaning demo that was jo that was Jonathan Appel Appel I bet um, let's see it says sorry I it's been a while since I've read it. I think the, I think you mentioned I think you sent yeah. me an email and you mentioned his I, name I and think I sent to the thing to you yeah yeah I saw that uh, and that is uh, that's the gentleman who we've talked to a couple of yeah, years ago, we talked to him path. about doing that kind of a workshop for us. We just haven't been able to do it because right, of course. pandemic. Yeah, I'm surprised so that they, I'm surprised that they were able to do it. For, frankly, well, he's still doing it, so yeah. that's nice well, to know. Yeah. So when we're able to, right? I mean, I, I we could schedule it, but I mean, then some people might not want to come uh, oh, because no, I wouldn't do it this year. Yeah, right. no. So it is something we and we've already appropriated the money for it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Appropriated the money for it a couple of years ago, yeah. and and I and I've talked to him when I first got on the committee, and I've seen his videos, and he's a good guy. He's he'd be a good, an excellent choice to have him come up, and show, uh, you know, have a, a work basically a workshop on gravestone preservation, all the do's and don'ts, and also particularly on cleaning because the cleaning is something that, if you have the right materials and the right know-how, it's not rocket science. Right. Um, but when I don't want to encourage anybody to go out there and start spraying down the, the stones unless until they've been trained. And using that E2 yeah. biological solution. Right. Yeah. And this, this, yeah. Actually, they're doing that. Uh, at play, by the way, playing with the, the, maybe I, I don't know if I mentioned this or not to you folks, but Kai Nalens, the conservator for Plainville and Old Hadley, um, is has started work at Plainville. Oh, good. Oh, good. So he's been out there for about. Uh, three days, three or four days. And he's, you can you stop by and, you know, at a safe distance, um, we'll see what he's doing. Okay. Um, he didn't, he did mention, I mean, we, again, we hired him to do Russell, um, I'm sorry, Plainville and Old Hadley, the center part of Old Hadley, uh, this round. He's, he's probably not going to be able to get to Old Hadley this fall. Okay. Because it's such a late start with the pandemic and, no, he had to because we couldn't get started right away with for him. There was some paperwork issues that came up, so he couldn't he couldn't get started until August uh, August late July. But he couldn't do that because he he had other jobs that he had to get in there. So he finally got free of those and he started a week ago, uh, and uh, he'll get Plainville done uh, in the next month or so. Uh, mm -hmm. But he asked. He asked if it would be okay to push ha Old Hadley back uh, to next spring, and I said I don't see any reason why not because actually we have a year to do this. You it know, we have until total, yeah. at least a year, and we could always ask for an extension. So I don't want to. I don't want to rush it. I don't want it to be up against the weather. I don't. You know, um, and uh, he's a one-man operation, like most of these people are. Um, so I don't want to feel have him feel like he's being rushed. We have plenty of time to do this. Well, what it might mean is that next year, if we if we get approval for Russellville and North Hadley, we might have two different conservators working in two different cemeteries, which is fine. Uh, you know, if, so if well, that happens, if, if we get approval at town meeting in October, yeah, then we'll put all three out. Well, we'll put the two out for bid, and then yep. have um, we'll put we'll put everything out for bid. Everything we get approved, uh, we'll put it out to bid. And it takes a while. Uh, uh, it's got a little select board and then the bid documents have to be prepared and right. typically it takes until February or March 
for it to get the paperwork to get out. And then we have to review the bids and then approve them, approve the contract, which again, the select board does. Okay. And, and all this just takes forever because we don't, there's not enough staff at town hall to do this. I mean, they're very good people who do that and very helpful, but we don't have professional. Right. Well, I mean, we have one, and, but you know, she's so spread so thin. It's very difficult to get the paperwork out in a timely manner. We've been, a, we've been able to do it. And fortunately the work that people are doing in the cemetery is kind of seasonal. So right. as long as it's ready by the middle of the spring, early summer, we can get our projects done in a calendar year. That's typically what's happened. Um, and we'll have a new, you know, David's retiring at the end yeah. of the year, so it'll, you know. A lot of, yeah. right, a lot of new faces, uh, which mm -hmm. is, yeah. So anyway, it'll be interesting. It'll be a challenge, but we'll see how it goes. Well, it's worked out really well, Alan. It's made a yeah. huge difference in the cemetery so far, so mm -hmm. it's nice yeah. to get the work done. And this well, thank you. I appreciate all your, you guys' help and in, in, insight and uh yeah. You're really the um, you're really the workhorse here. <laughs> Thank you for all you've done to get these where they are. Well, you guys will you guys will know how to do it when I retire. <laughs> take over. Okay, so um, I think well, I do have no one. I, I do have one other item. Uh, I just thought of it. Uh, I meant to bring it up. Um, Irene Berg died not too long ago, and I'm wondering, should the cemetery committee, as a group, sort of do something? Who for Gary? Orin Berg? Oh, Ga oh no. well, I reached out to Gary myself, personally. I did too, but I just wondered, yeah. as a cemetery committee, if we wanted to do, I, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm, I mean, I sent, a, a, you know, my own condolences, but. Yeah. Um, but he's done so much for the cemetery committee, you know, and he's been the cemetery committee in, in various ways. Yeah, so sure, for sure, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Um, when, I, would you suggest a, sending a card from the cemetery committee, Diane? Or was, would you that was my original thought. Nothing, you know, nothing fancy, just an acknowledgement. Sure. That'd be fine. That, that, know, that'd in, be great. For, in, in respect uh, for him. You that'd know. be nice. Absolutely. That's lovely. Um, it'd be a little bit difficult getting it signed by yeah. everybody. <laughs> Diane, if you want to take on, if you want to find one, uh, a card. And and, electronic, I know there are electronic. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, that's beyond my capability. <laughs> But would I know you be, I got one once and I had to sign it and yeah, would, <laughs> would you be, I don't remember what. Would you be willing to do that for us? Um, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Say, I'll yeah, so if you can find something electronically, you can, yeah, and, just, I'll just on, be, on behalf of the cemetery committee. Right, right. Yeah, right. I think that would be very nice. That'd be lovely. <laughs> um, so, let's see. We read that. Anything else, folks? Uh, so we had the mm -hmm. cleaning. We actually had, I saw that two more people were included in somebody's response. So 19 people from Hockenham Village um, weighed in and they all were, they all were favorable. Okay. Yeah. And I um, actually, you kind of summarized it all in an email. Right. Uh, so I, I don't mean to just say that real quick. I know we already voted on it, but I could. Um, for the record, you know. <laughs> um, well, so why don't you just send, why don't you send that just so Diane will see? It. I don't think Diane's seen that. I think yep, I sure will. Uh, yet. But if you've, I mean, we may get a few more, of course. But I think that uh, why don't you just send that forward that email to Diane and myself with a summary of uh, the comments that you got. We'll keep that. I'll keep it in the file. Well, I think um, it's just important to document for the for the town that you know we did have all this input from the people of Hockenham. Yeah. Well, we, it's in the it's in the CPA. It's better knowing that because that way you know it's really where we need the real input from and and to have that on record that says yes we have it. And yeah, if you read the CPA application, that's exactly yeah. what it says. Well, that's exactly I'm talking, what it says. I'm talking and, about the town records, Alan. I'm not talking about political issues or anything. I'm saying for the record of you know our town. What we need is then is, and I've mentioned this to Mary, is a letter from the village association saying they support. Okay. And we got, just like yeah. we got our email, uh, mm -hmm. if there's a, some kind of a vote or something like that. Um, and, and I said I'll do my best. It's usually yeah. we meet every summer, but mm -hmm. um, it's COVID is just a strange. I know it's 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 difficult doing this kind of thing. <laughs> but with we any, try. Yeah. yeah. And just, the, and we did get uh, <laughs> we did get a note from Judy Stone. Uh, saying that the, um, the the historical commission su fully supports mm -hmm. the projects, uh, and and again that that we put. I'm not going to attach an email to a report, but mm 
but we say that we have that. Support. Yeah. So um, anyway, yep. So we've done that. I think we're in good shape um, so far. We'll see what happens. I think it's on the 14th, the CPA committee meeting. Should yes. be a Zoom meeting. Yeah. The 14th and then the 21st. Right. Oh, that's right, Mary, you're on the committee, so. Yeah, so yeah. it's the first meeting we kind of review all the applications mm -hmm. and then we. Ask questions. Ask or, questions yeah. and everybody yeah. gets a chance to process it and then we vote on it. Right, the right, right, right. Okay, and, and then, then of course we'll have to. End of the month in town meeting, I think is October 17th. Correct. So, so we'll have to, we'll have to be yes. available for, again, questions or and make a little presentation uh, Brief, brief, a brief presentation um, there. Usually it goes pretty smoothly. If the, if the CPC approves it, we're usually in good shape. But you never know in these times what will happen. We'll just do, do the best we can. Do you know if town meeting is going to be in person inside or outside? Or Last I heard, it's going to be in person outside. Okay. Like we did before. Stressful. Yeah, that seemed, to, that seemed to work good. I mean, weather permitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was so hot. <laughs> so I don't think we'll have that problem this time. Okay. All right, folks. I sent that out to Emily also. I sent it to Oh, her. yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Great. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. No further business. Motion to adjourn, somebody? So Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Everybody's ready Aye. to go. Very efficient. One half an hour. That was great. <laughs>